even though everyone. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to say that if anyone does want to come up and do this, it's really not that daunting. So this is a follow-up to my last talk, which was uh, about the whole of World War II. Um, is, is, is this going? Yes. Aha, fantastic. So in 1945, after the Second World War, Germany is in ruins. It's been bombed from east and west, and the Nazis, as they retreated, used scorched earth tactics, took out a lot of the infrastructure. So the Allies decided what to do about Germany at the Potsdam Conference. Little aside, Winston Churchill was actually voted out of office during the Potsdam Conference, so his place was taken by Clement Attlee. You've also got President Truman and Joseph Stalin there representing the Soviet Union. So Germany becomes divided uh, between the four powers. And you've got Saarland down there on the bottom left. Um, uh, between Soviet Union, Britain, France, and America. And that little splodge of color on the right, right in the Soviet sector, that's Berlin. Berlin itself is divided between Soviet Union, France, Britain, and America. So uh, Berlin is a divided state within a divided state and it's slap bang in the middle of the Soviet section. So after this di division, uh, the Cold War emerges, this idea of East versus West, capitalist America versus uh, the communist Soviet Union. And, Ger and Germany, Berlin in particular, is right in the middle of this power struggle. And the first real big incident that occurs is the Berlin blockade. The Soviet Union wants control of, whole of, of the whole of Berlin, so, that, so they blockade West Berlin. And it's only relieved when uh, the Western Allies fly in lots, and lots of uh, uh, aid. Uh, and two states emerge. You have West Germany and East Germany. West Germany is capitalist, and East Germany, uh, more correctly, the German Democratic Republic, or GDR, is uh, socialist and essentially a satellite state of the USSR. In West Germany, you have uh, an economic uh, miracle. The economy absolutely booms and unemployment falls to practically zero. And a lot of foreign workers end up going there, which is, where, which is the inspiration behind the TV show Af We Design Pet. On the other hand, East Germany stagnates. Um, although the economy is state run and there's pretty much full employment, the state industries are not competitive at all. And I've represented it with this uh, everyone's favorite lovable crappy car, the Trabant. And in East Germany, you have the Ministry for State Security. Um, they're otherwise known as the Stasi, and they ran uh, the intelligence, intelligence agency and secret police. And when they were raided um, after the wall fell, they found 111 kilometers of paper. It's crazy. So all of this led to an uprising in 1953 in East Germany, and that uprising was put down by, uh, by Soviet tanks. So, so the Soviet Union was really getting involved. And all of these conditions led to, led to a brain drain. So 20% of the GDR population left the GDR. Um, three and a half million people. Um, the inner inter was closed in 1952, but in 1961, after the Berlin crisis, the Berlin Wall comes up. Um, initially, it's just barbed wire. And uh, this guy on, on the right, a border guard called Conrad Schumann, he was the first person to literally jump over the wall. But as time goes on, the wall becomes very, very elaborate. Um, President Kennedy visits Berlin uh, to show solidarity with Berliners and declares, Ich bin ein Berliner, which unfortunately does not mean I am a donut, despite what idiots I might tell you. So sorry about that. The Berlin Wall eventually falls in 1989. It's due to this guy, Gunter Schabowski. He's told to um, announce a new immigration policy, but he announces it too early. And there's a huge amount of confusion, and uh, the wall ends up coming down that night. Now, unlike in 1953, the USSR does not intervene. Mikhail Gorbachev's in power, and he abandons what's called the Brezhnev Doctrine. They also hold free elections in East Germany, and the Communist Party loses those elections. So when, you, so when you reunification came, it was incredibly fast. It was very, very costly for the West because they agreed to exchange the GDR currency at one to one. The market, market value was about five to one. And less than a year after the wall came down, the country was reunited. And it's easy to think that, oh, happily ever after, the two Germanys become one. Um, definitely not the case. Um, a lot of unemployment in East Germany, a lot of mistrust between the two sides. And it's led to something called nostalgia, which is a, a nostalgia for East Germany. 
Uh, Germany today is obviously an economic powerhouse, um, fourth largest economy. And I just want to leave you with this photo, which is, which is Berlin at night. You can still see the division because the two sides use different streetlights. And uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's me. Thank you very much.